if you can describe what we watched a little bit earlier with the uh, the, the safety barriers around the car and the charging system. Uh, not only is that really cool to watch, but I think it's so foreign to what anybody in North America sees. Uh, tell us what the heck we were watching. Well, what we do there is we have a charging unit, which is an electrical unit. We plug into the car to artificially spin up the flywheel. Once the flywheel accumulator is spun up to speed, then you can function check the, the motor generator unit in the front. And that's what you're watching. You see the tents of barriers put up, and you see the guys inside the barriers are the hybrid specialists. And basically, they spin up the flywheel accumulator and confirm that the correct functions are all working. You see they got the swing, big swing masses on the front wheels. Those are to, uh, to emulate the, the weight of the wheel and tire assembly. So they can spin the system up, check for proper amp, amp reduce usage, check for proper energy harvest. They can run through a full series of, uh, full series of uh, function checks to make sure it's going to work when we get on the racetrack. A little bit different than the, uh, the ERS systems on the Daytona prototypes then. Yeah, a little bit different than that. And uh, it's, uh, it's a, you know, here at Audi, we, we really follow a very close, you know, startup protocol and function check protocol. It's always been that way with the prototypes, you know, clear back to the very beginning. We got a very specific way that we go through the function checks before we go on the racetrack. And, and the, uh, the function checks for the hybrid are obviously very important with all the energy at work and the electrical energy and so forth. We want to make sure that safety is a top priority and that the system's going to function the way we expect it to.